We're up to Sefer Shmiras Aloshan 155. What should a person do if he wants material success? Let's say he wants, what's material success? Money. Money. Gosh. iPods. iPods. Hmm. I don't know if that's material success. Okay. The, it says in the Torah that the Nochash, the snake, was cursed. What was the curse? It says that what? It says he should lose all his legs and, 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 and he's going to go in his belly. That's right. And then everything he takes will be like dirt. That's correct. And dust you will eat all the days of your life. Now, so meaning it's not like it really is dust, but it's going to taste like dust. First of all, he's on the ground. Second of all, just it's going to taste like dust. So the same thing that gossip monger is punished with poverty, as it says in the Sefer Hakonet. He said this before, big thing, you know, in the past forty-three. Now says the Chavos Chaim. I am truly amazed by the fact that people who constantly speak other, you know, about others evil and do not hesitate to go for segulas and for blessings from tzaddikim for success in order to earn a parnasa. Because I don't understand this. They go around to all these people, they're thinking, oh, I'm going to go to this tzaddik and he's giving me a bracha, and I'm going to go to, I'm going to do this special thing. It says if you eat, you say, you know, challah that's been home baked, you know, uh, then taking, you know, and you did the mitzvah challah, you're going to have parnasa. If you wash your hands with lots of water from the tilas you dime, you're going to have lots, it's a, it's a segula for ashiras. He says, do you expect a blessing to outweigh the strength of their averus? The Torah says, Auror, it is cursed, a one who strikes his friend in, in hidden, in stealth, in trickery. So which Chazal, you know, what do they interpret this? As a person who speaks Lashonara, because the other person doesn't know that you're stabbing him in the back. This curse was uttered in front of a whole Kla Yisrael, who everybody answered all together, Amen. So basically, Kla Yisrael says, you know, they, the, the, they called out, curse should be the person who speaks Lashon Har about someone else. And everyone answered all together, Amen. So, so you're, oh, you're going to go to a tzaddik now, and he's going to outweigh that curse that was given by the guns of Israel? That's a tough one. Yeah? What do you hear about that? What do you say about that one? Are you going to wash your hands until you die with lots of water, and that's going to so take off a curse? So everyone who picks up horror, like these kind of things, I mean, people try not to, but they end up doing it. So why everyone writing for blessing is the rabbis? That's the, what he's asking. He's saying, no, they want to be able, we want to be able to run to a tzaddik and kind of yeah. do it the easy way. Yeah, like, you know, it's like weight loss. <laughs> right? Or you see on the front of all these magazines, three easy steps to, you know, do this. You know, uh, four steps to having the perfect marriage. Uh, you get know what I'm saying? He's like, four steps. You have four little things and shine, that's it. One step to having material success. Go to a tzaddik for a bracha. Uh, yeah, but what about everything else? Mm. He says, If a person would come to me for advice, says the Chafetz Chaim, and he wants to have, a, he says, I'd like to have material success. I want to be, I want to have Hatzlocha and Parnasa. He says, I would tell the person, be very careful in regards to a Lashon Hara. In that way, the Torah says, because the, the Kala Yisrael said, Blessed is the one who does not strike his friend in stealth. And the whole Kala Yisrael answered, Amen. Got a blessing for the whole Kala Yisrael at the time of the Midbar. These were holy hundreds and uh, millions of Jews. Millions of Jews, which were much greater than any tzaddik we, we know. Answered, Amen. So they all gave you a blessing <coughs> if we're careful about not striking someone else in secret. Additionally, a person should avoid any type of robbery, charging interest, or any other act that might cause someone else monetary loss. He says if you're careful about that, that will bring you success.